Okay, I said, you two, we're going to have to try to mend some uh, cliche fences, and you two are going to go in there, and you're going to try to tamp it down. Because Comcast knew the next day they were going to announce that MSNBC is vapor. Bill O'Reilly made a jaw-dropping appearance on Chris Cuomo's show, where he revealed surprising details about Comcast's rumored plans for Morning Joe on MSNBC and The View. Chris Cuomo and guest Stephen A. Smith were stunned into silence by O'Reilly's bold and candid remarks. You won't want to miss the epic rant he delivered in the clip we're about to show you. That is a huge meteor story. Why Enormous. is it vapor? Just because they're there spinning no it off more... and putting them in the... Well, they're spinning off a bunch There's of no brands. There's no spinoff. There is. It's a no. spinoff company. There's no spinoff. That, see, you buy the propaganda, Cuomo. Oh, okay. See what I mean about I'm smart just saying people? what's being reported. All right. But what, how do, what do you know? Yeah, I know, but why would you believe what's being reported? You want the real story? Here yes, it comes. please. So they're uncoupling, their word, Comcast, MSNBC from NBC News. That means MSNBC has no resources at all, none. They're not going to be able to pay these people millions of dollars, Rachel Maddow, whatever she's making. NBC News is saying, we don't want you around. Why? Because NBC News' numbers, uh, Lester Holt and the Today Show, are catastrophe because half the country equates NBC News with MSNBC and they won't watch. So NBC is desperately trying to save the mothership of information mm. and they have to throw MSNBC overboard. They're not putting anything into MSNBC. They want to sell it. So where's Georgie Soros now? Georgie's buying radio stations. You can get MSNBC for nothing. They'll give it to you. They don't want any more of this. Why? Because it's hateful. Not because it's so far left. The whole NBC Comcast hierarchy is far left. But it's hateful. They hate Trump. They hate people who vote for Trump. Everybody knows that. And you know what's next? The View. ABC News is going to have to cut ties with The View. And you saw that today or yesterday when Sonny Hostin had to read a legal statement in the middle of a segment. The lawyers got in her, get Whoopi Goldberg's ear, and it said, we're bringing a statement in on a teleprompter. She reads it. So it is over for these far left networks. Done. Never coming back. Dracula's stake in the heart. Who benefits? News Nation may. But CNN, which is on the ropes, too, will probably get some MSNBC viewers. Wow. There you go. Honestly, O'Reilly's analysis makes some solid business points, even if it feels a bit over the top. The media landscape is changing, and networks can't afford to push away half their audience. If MSNBC's image is damaging NBC News' overall credibility, it's logical for them to create some distance. In the end, it's less about ideology and more about viewership and advertising dollars. When the audience starts tuning out, the money follows. As for The View, it's becoming clear that ABC is feeling the pressure from all the controversy. Polarizing content might generate online buzz, but that doesn't always translate to consistent viewership. If shows like The View keep pushing the envelope, even their core fans might start to walk away. The bottom line? The days of far-left, hyper-partisan media ruling the airwaves could be numbered. Not because of politics, but because of business. Whether this prediction holds true or not, one thing's certain, the media industry is shifting, and these networks will need to adapt quickly to keep up.